Countless repatriation exercises year after year seem to yield the same results. As soon as one group is loaded onto a plane and returned home, another takes a treacherous sea voyage for the Bahamas. But it seems the government's adopting a different approach addressing the long-standing issue. And that means supporting a study by an international organization that's focused on getting to the bottom of the illegal migration woes. And we're not just talking about for the Bahamas, but the neighboring Turks and Caicos Islands. Considering the proximity of our countries to the United States of America, the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands have been prime targets of illegal migration from the South. Migration statistics show that there, have, there are between 20,000 and 50,000 undocumented Haitians living in the Bahamas. As neighbors of the Turks and Caicos Islands, the Bahamas recognizes the importance of cooperation in formulating an, in an integrated response to combating irregular migration. For this reason, the Bahamas looks forward to collaborating with TCI and Haiti in conjunction with the International Organization for Migration to prevent irregular migration. Deputy Prime Minister Philip Davis' comments came during a bilateral meeting at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs Monday morning with delegates from the Turks and Caicos Islands. That meeting centered on the influx of illegal Haitian migrants from Haiti. Representing the TCI was its governor, Peter Beckenham, who was accompanied by that island's minister for border control, Ricardo Gardner. Mr. Beckenham says his government has implemented a number of measures to tighten its grip on illegal migration. And it's costing our government money. Uh, so for those reasons uh, and others, we want to, to do more about it. We believe that by meeting jointly with the government of Haiti, uh, there may be areas, I stress may, be areas where we can uh, exert some, some uh, persuasion to encourage them to, uh, to do more about the problem that, uh, that they face and we face jointly. A trilateral meeting between Haiti, the Bahamas, and Turks and Caicos is scheduled to take place on Tuesday. Reporting for JCN News, I'm Greg Smith.